Hey guys, so in this episode on the Gear Channel, we're going to take an up close and personal look at a pretty 63C10 fleet side short box custom. Hey Daryl. Hey Gary. Thanks for having me over. Not a problem, but thanks I, for uh, stopping around. Yeah, you have got one of the nicest 63C10s I've ever seen. Well, thank you. Tell me about this truck. So, you've had this how long? I purchased it in uh, August of 2016. Ah. From um, uh, the person that was selling it in Kamloops, BC. So, uh, I talked to a couple of people that I knew out there, and they were some people that he knew as well and I asked him if he would be kind enough to keep it for me so we could uh, figure out a price and I could come out and get it and uh, here it sits now. Yeah. We brought it home on uh, cruise weekend of August in 2016. Wow, so you had it I guess uh, this August will be seven years now. You and betcha. you've done. Yeah. You've done a lot of different stuff to this truck. Oh, it's got a whole new color change. It's got uh, all new wood in the floor. It's got new upholstery in it. It's got lots of things that were changed. Yeah, I remember it was kind of a light gray color when you first bought That's it. That's correct, then. yeah. Yeah, now it's this pretty black cherry. Uh, so that's, uh, what do you call that color, Daryl? This is, it's an infinity color and it's called Malbec Black. Wow, it's really pretty. Uh, it's gonna probably appear as a black on camera here, guys, but it actually has a lot of a, it's, it's got a cherry look to it. It's really pretty in the sun. And this also has a lot of neat pinstriping touches on it. Uh, who, who did that for Tutal, you? Tutal, Tutal came over and uh, decided he wanted to, uh, put some subtle pinstripes on it. He wanted to put pinstripes on it and I told him we'll make them subtle. So we mix paint and, and uh, those are special colors. They're not out of a tin, they're all mixed up and I think it looks really good. He did an amazing job. That guy is extremely talented. I don't know if you guys can see this in the camera but it runs the length of the side of the truck here. We saw the hood. There's also some on the tailgate here and there's some on the steering wheel as well. Can you show us there's that, Daryl? some on the steering wheel, yeah. And while we're in here, we'll get a look at your interior. Yeah, there's the, I don't know if you guys can make that out, but it's the prettiest steering wheel and it's got the nicest striping on it. I really like that. That's actually a uh, steering wheel out of the custom package for 1963. So, so when you ordered the custom version of this truck, you would get the, the stainless on the side here, uh -huh. the custom. You would get two um, sun visors inside. This one only came with one. It's got two now. You would get the um, door locks, teed locks on both sides. You would get that steering wheel. Um, and there were a few other little features on it. A little toss. So originally this wasn't a custom, but now well, it is with it is. those yeah. extra features there. That's really pretty. I like that. Really neat. This is one of my favorite body styles. So there was a lot of firsts when this truck came out in 19, there, this body style came out in 1960. It went from 60 to 66. Uh, it was the first year for independent front suspension. Uh, and, uh, long truck trailing arms. You could also get power steering and it was also the uh, first series where you had the C series for two wheel drive and the K series for four wheel drive and four wheel drive being the first time they had that option. Exactly. In 1960. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as a factory option. Yeah, I guess uh, back in, well, 59 they were uh, aftermarket Conversion. type add-ons yeah. prior to that yeah. on straight axles. Very nice. So what's powering this? Uh, this has 383 stroker in it. 383 stroker. Yeah. A little bit bigger than what came out of the factory. Yeah, I think the biggest engine you can get in these was a 283. 283. And this is a nice little 383 stroker. I see ke uh, Edelbrock carburation on there. You can mm -hmm. set headers. Uh, Edelbrock intake. It's nice and clean under here, Daryl. Thank you. Very, very pretty. Nicely detailed. 
I want to get a shot of this grill while we're down here. Nice chromed grill, some aftermarket headlights. Now, this grill is not original to the truck, Daryl? No, this is a uh, 6465 6465. Chevy grill. And uh, the uh, original grill that came with this truck is hanging on the wall over there. Ah, let's look at that. Let's give everybody a look at it. But um, that's really tough to get a chrome grill in that year. Ah, I see. They made them. But they don't don't make them as a reproduction. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. It's got the prettiest stance. Uh, one thing we didn't look at. Now we have walked by this truck a number of times at different events. Daryl gets out to a lot of different stuff with this truck, but we've never seen the bed before. Tell us about this, Daryl. It's uh, all new oak wood, and it's um, the stain in it is sangria, so which is a wine colored. Stain, uh -huh. and the reason I picked that was to complement the paint. Right, yeah, and, I like uh, it. New stainless, and that was a, a little project that I did over the winter about three years ago. Stripped it all down and pulled all the old wood out and put new wood in and new stainless strips. Very, uh, very nice, and I do like the color choice. Those thank uh, you. wheel wells look a yeah, little larger. Tubs are a little larger. Yeah. <laughs> Larger than stock. Larger than stock to make way for uh, 265, 270, what do we got there? 275, 6015, that's a lot of tire. Yeah. A lot of tire in there. That's the same size tire combination I have in my Chevelle. That's a lot of wheel and tire. And you, I noticed you've got the prettiest set of taillights on here. That was just something that a friend of mine in California and I were talking one time and, and uh, he said, I noticed you got put clear lenses in for your taillights. And I said, yes. And he said, why don't you put a red trim around? And he said, uh, that wouldn't be really hard to do. So we talked about it and I picked up some plastic when I was down there and got it cut when I got back into Saskatoon and it was really neat the way that it worked out. I like that. Very nice. You know, it's all those subtle features that really stand out and make this truck what it is. I like that. That's a pretty tail light. Thank you. Wow. Super nice truck. Really tastefully done interior. The, the box, the paint, the colors, the stance. Nice job, Daryl. I really like this. So we should actually uh, now, some people may recognize this truck appeared on the Dragon's 60th Annual Car Show. We've got a poster out here. That was a car show that never happened, actually. Yeah. The famous poster, 2020, that car show never happened, but uh, Daryl's truck appears on that Dragon's uh, car show poster. Yeah, my truck and Derek Bodie's truck. Wow. So it's famous. <laughs> It was on the poster. <laughs> what can I say? Yeah, very, very beautiful truck. Well, thank you, Daryl. Thanks for having me over today. I really appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for stopping by, Gary. Yeah, this is uh, one of the nicest 63s in town. I really love this body style. And, uh, yeah, I, I appreciate looking at this. Very pretty. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. appreciate you. And if you see something you like in these videos, please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you again.